Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how you can use multi search in the Twitter Dub software. The multi search functionality basically allows you to run multiple actions within a single action. Um, if you think of we make a follow action author of tweets that would be one action let's make dogs would have that action would have okay so we've got four actions created um, I'm going to assume that you know how to um, create actions from a standard search and process tab whether it's um, follow, like, you know that they all basically work, work the same of the search, the pause and the repeat properties. Um, if you don't, please go through the getting started tutorials where all these basics are explained. So, we've made four actions. Let me just clear up these actions from a previous tutorial. So we made four actions with our account here. Um, we're going to search for 200 tweets from the hashtag cat, 200 from dogs, um, followers of profile one, followers of profile two. All well and good, four actions here. Um, if we were just going to have four actions, then it's not really a problem having four actions in our processor. But let's say you've got 100 accounts and that's, a that's four actions per account you now have 400 actions um, to potentially monitor in the processing tab um, if that is a bit unwieldy for you you can use multi search functionality you find that in the multi search button and what we do is we would then build our search um, as we did before now we tweet search Right, so we've got tweet search selected. We're going to have 200 results. Okay, we need it. Um, that was just telling us that um, a tweet search will return a tweet and we're on a follow action and you can't follow a tweet. So we need to make sure the search ends on a profile. So tweet search, get the author, the creator of the tweet. Now we've created an, um, an action or a search. 200 um, tweet search of cat do that with dog. We could also modify this if we want. Um, we'll do as before. And you can basically do as many actions as you want here. Okay, so basically what I've done here is what I had done previously and, and a little bit more. We have created a action which will search for 200 profiles from the cat hashtag, 100 profiles from the dog hashtag, we're going to get 100 followers from profile 1, um, 100 followers from profile 2, 100 followings of profile 2 and 100 followings of profile 3. So when we create this action you'll notice some controls disappear that's because we don't need to specify a max items want to process for the action because we've, we've specified that in the multi search we don't need to specify a search because we've already done that now when we create the action we have a multi search so rather than having um, I think it was six searches we built just now rather than having six actions we've got it all contained in one so as you can see if you have multiple accounts is a way of trying to keep your processor a bit clean um, it allows you to just let the action run what will happen is we will run this action and when that is completed we would run this action when that is completed we would run this action run this action so on and so forth. 
and that's it really. Um, you have access to the other options like filter, um, random, um, pause in between and repeat. That would be applied to all the search, all the searches within your multi-search action. Um, yeah, and it works exactly the same way on search, on comment, um, all the actions where you see the multi-search button, that is how it works. Um, if you have any questions regarding this tutorial or any other questions regarding the software, do come along to the forum at rootjazz.com forum. Hope you found the tutorial useful and thanks for watching.